All right, so this is how it's going to go down. If I win, you got to sub to my YouTube channel, watch the rest of this video. It's really as simple as that. Come on, rock, paper, scissors. All right, I'm going to let you catch up. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I might be going a little too fast. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. How is the situation and the things that you're going through bring you closer to God, your dreams, and your goals? Are you allowing it to bring you closer to your dreams, your goals, and God? Are you allowing that? I know it's a hard question to answer. You might not have all the right pieces to answer it right now. And that's okay. That's fine. I want, I want to jump into something that Paul says. In Philippians 3, 14, he says, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those of us who are mature think this way. And if anything you think otherwise, God will reveal that also to you. Only let us hold true to what we have attained. So I urge you, if you are going something through something very hard or even something really good, take it to God in prayer first, first, first and foremost. Um, it could be as simple as just hitting them. As simple as that. It's it, as simple as that. Um, and just it's just taking it to him um, for he'll direct your path, you know, and. And if it's of his will, it will prosper. I want to go on and um and in four and Philippians four four, um, he also says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The Lord is always there. Um, his, his hand is there in your life, um, whether you can see it or not, uh, actively moving. Um, Oh, by the way, this is a living word. It's like always, always here too. You, you can't, you can't take this away. Um, let me know in the comment section if you don't have a Bible and um, I can help you get one. I come today to bring you encouragement, both to you and, and myself. Um, I, I would hope that you're closer today than you've ever been with God. And if you're not, obviously you're watching this video, so it's not too late. It's not too late to take that step and and just go in, go all in. Um, I urge you, if you're if you're if you're gonna seek God, seek Him with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. Um, that's a great place to start. That's a, it's a, it's a it's a great place to start. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure what you're going through today. I'm not sure what your situation is. I'm not sure what your name is. Uh, you can always drop that in the comment too. But I want you to know that ultimately we suffer. <laughs> like every human being on this planet suffers at some point in time. We all go through different trials and tribulations, um, whether you're going through that for good or bad. Um, it's not ultimately the same, but it's still the same principle. Um, suffer for good though you don't don't be uh, taken aback or pushed away when uh things go wrong in your life and you're headed the right direction you feel like you're on the right path and you feel like you're you're going the right way keep keep going on keep steadfast um keep moving don't forget the things that you've thought about and, and planned out in your head, um, the, the things that you see in your future and you, you've taken to God about and, you know, he's actively answered that or shown you exactly what, what there is in the future. You know, um, God speaks in, in many different ways. And I, I, I want you to look for that um, and, and look for that in the past too. Um, look for the things that you know will come about the things that you know are in your heart the passions that you have um the dreams that you have the goals that you have the the progress that you made is only a showing of that and and don't give up there's the hope of eternal life is always here it's always with you god's always with you um jesus is always with you if you have fully accepted him into your heart um and let let the holy spirit lead you let god 
lead you. Don't don't turn away in times of trouble or even times of good. You know, sometimes we could just be having too much fun with it, and you you get you get taken astray. I don't know if that's the right way to say that, but you get led astray. Um, Paul says here to rejoice, um, no matter what, you know, take it, take things to God in prayer. Um, I think, I think in this life, there's just so much that you could see. There's so, so many things that you could go through. There's so many things that you could do. There's so many places that you could go. There's so many people that you could meet. It's, it's hard to think that, you know, God's just directing your your path, you know? I, I I wouldn't have thought like 11 years ago I would have been this close with God um and just actively seeking him, you know, and relying on him. I didn't I didn't know what relying on God was. Um and it's it's so it's such a great feeling and don't don't let go of that. Don't let the adversity that you're going through stop you from seeing uh God's glory, you know? And seeing his hand in your life. Don't don't forget about the things that happened in your past, the, the, the ways that God has brought you through that valley and brought you through that drought and brought you through that pain and, and brought you through that joy and brought you to that 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 feeling of a party in your heart. Don't forget those times that you everything was OK. Don't forget those times because God God has ways to prosper you. <laughs> God has ways to prosper you. And ultimately it could be so much better than the things that you've seen before you know and just keep pressing on with that hope and that faith that things do get better things always get better things always get better um you know i've lived 22 years and i i'm closer today than i've ever been with god and that that could be the same with you i don't know if you're heartbroken i don't know if you've got a million dollars in your bank account I don't know if someone really close to you just passed away. Um, I don't know your situation, but you're just that much closer to your goals and your dreams and a closer relationship with God. Um, just keep taking your steps, even if they're baby steps, continue on, um, walk the good walk and let God direct your path um, according to his word and, and let his word be the lamp um, for your feet, you know. Uh, let the word be a light on your path. And there's there's no way you could fail. Um, I say that in light of life, not even in the light of actions and things that we know of this world. Um, just know that when you follow God, you, you, you can't fail. Um, he won't fail you. Um, so yeah, that's just me here to encourage you. Um, there's so much more that I, I've got to say and like I'm cooking right now, but I ain't gonna go on too much longer. I, I feel like I got the main message across. Um, and I might not even said it right, to be honest with you. I might not have, uh, uh, reiterated everything correctly, but just keep going. Keep going, my friend. Keep going, my friend. Uh, and know that God loves you. He sees you. He sees you in that storm. He sees you on that beach. He sees you uh, in that penthouse. He sees you in that brand new car. He sees you wherever you go. Uh, keep him in your heart. Keep him in your heart and allow him to direct your path all right then as always you already know be you i'll catch you in the next one